hello, if you are on, that means you have this whole passage read and you have notes and you have answered all of the questions. If you can say yes, yes, and yes, let's go ahead and go over our answers together. All right? So I'm going to reread the passage with you. And you should be thinking about your notes. Your notes should be something close to mine. If not, then we want to make sure we are changing that a bit, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the very first paragraph. It is not pretty to look at. It is not as friendly as a dolphin. It does not sing like a whale. But the manatee is beautiful in its own way. It has special qualities all of its own. The manatee is a rare animal that needs our help. Right there, I know the author's viewpoint. I know how the author feels about manatees. The author feels that manatees are rare, which means they're different or not seen a lot, and they need our help. So I'm going to write manatees need our help. And remember, you can make it so that it's shorter. Manatees equal need help. Okay? Paragraph two. The manatee is a large mammal. It can grow up to 13 feet long. That is about the length of a car. It can weigh more than 1,000 pounds. The manatee swims in warm, shallow water. It is found along the coast and inland waterways of Florida. In the summer, manatees may swim as far as Texas. So this paragraph talked about two things. It talked about manatees being what? Large mammals, and it talked about where they live. So you could have written something about where manatees live, um, manatees equals large animal, whatever you want. So I'm going to put manatee equals large. Okay? So that I know if I need to go back, I can find it in that paragraph. Even though the manatee is huge, it is one of the most graceful swimmers. It glides through the water. The manatee uses its powerful tail to propel it. It steers with its fin. Even though its size is commanding, the manatee is a gentle animal. It munches on sea grasses and other water plants. Its size and peaceful nature give it the nickname sea cow. Okay? Um, Again, there's a couple different little categories in there that you could have written about. You could have written about how it swims. I think that's what I'm going to put. You could have also written about what it eats, or you could have said, like, nickname. That's how it gets its nickname. Paragraph four, the manatee has a wrinkled gray body. It, it may look hairless. But like all mammals, it does have hair. Also, like all mammals, manatees have lungs to breathe air. The manatee will come to the surface of the water to breathe. Sometimes people will see its nose sticking out of the water. So this was repeated a couple times that it's a mammal, okay? So I'm going to put mammal next to it. You could have done how it breathes, any of those would have been fine. All right, this can be a problem for the manatees. It is dangerous for them to be near the surface of the water when motor boats race by. Sometimes the blades of boat propellers cut manatees coming up to breathe. Many manatees have scars from these cuts. Others are killed when boats hit them. Something about boats and being harmful would have been a great um, little bit of words to write. Boats equals harmful. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and look at our next two paragraphs. 
people also cause other problems for manatees. The animals sometimes get trapped in canal, or sorry, in canal locks and floodgates that people have built. Others get caught in crab nets. Then they cannot come up to breathe. Some manatees swallow fish hooks and fishing lines. The items are harmful to the animals. Removing these items when they have been swallowed by the animals is dangerous. Because of these actions by people, manatees are now endangered. That means the number of manatees have become so low, they may die out. All right, so endangered, humans equals harmful. Any of those would have been great notes. And I'll write it, I'm gonna write it right here. Humans equals harmful. And then everyone should be concerned about manatees. There are many people that are misinformed about manatees. Everyone should help save them. The government has correctly made the manatee a protected animal. That means it is a crime to harm one. Boaters must not be so careless. They should follow speed limits for boats where manatees live. People should learn more about this amazing creature and how to protect it. Then this gentle giant will continue to live on without those threats. This paragraph, again, we are seeing, you should notice a little bit of a pattern here. The ending paragraph always seems to restate the author's what? their viewpoint, right? So this author is pretty much just saying that we all need to take care of manatees, right? Um, so if you had something like that or follow the laws, something about this paragraph being um, that the manatee is important and that we need to take care of it, I would say you are um, right on. So maybe protect manatees. Okay, so now that we have our notes, this will be easier if we need to go back to find the answer. So let's go ahead and look at our questions. And remember, some might not involve us having to go back and find the answer, but when it does, we need to be doing that. All right, read this sentence from the article. The manatee uses its powerful tail to propel it. What does powerful mean as used in the sentence, all right? Well, powerful, we know powerful has a what? Suffix, full of power. So if something is full of power, does it have great need? No. Does it have great strength? Yes. Great courage? Probably not. Great understanding? No. So you should have some lines crossed off. That shows me that you were going back and eliminating silly choices or choices that you knew were not correct. Read these sentences from the article. These items are harmful to the animals. Removing these items when they have been swallowed by the animals is dangerous. The prefix Re means again or back. Which answer choice uses re in the same way as removing? So I taught you that strategy. If you get rid of re, we have the root word moving. So I would love to see this on your paper. If you get rid of re is is in a word, a root word? No. If you get rid of re, is any a word? No. If you get rid of re, is turn a word? Yeah. Let's check the last one. If you get rid of re, is patile a word? No. You should have picked C. Hopefully you are doing that. All right, number 16, this is the one I really wanted you to pay attention to. What text evidence does not support the author's view that manatees are in danger? 
it munches on seagrass and other water plants. Does that talk about it being in danger? Some manatees swallow fish hooks and fishing lines. Or actually, you know what? This does prove that it's in danger because remember, it comes up to the water to eat that stuff. And we're doing not. So you should have crossed that off. Fish hooks, that shows they're in danger. Some, you know what, Mrs. Harp's getting confused here. Sorry, let me look at the question again. What text evidence does not support the author's view that manatees are in danger? So if it munches on seagrass and water plants, are this, is the seagrass and water plants at the top of the water? Let's go back and look. Where did it talk about that? Oh, right here, paragraph three. The manatee munches on seagrass and water plants. So this didn't have anything to do with it being harmed, right? So I hope you didn't cross this one off. This one is okay. So sorry about that. All right. Sometimes the blades of boats and propellers cut manatees coming up to breathe. That's where I was getting confused with those two. That proves that it is dangerous, right? The animals sometimes get trapped in canals and floodgates. Is that proving it's in danger? Yes. So you should have picked F. And I'm sorry about that. I was going thinking the wrong way. I was getting those two mixed up. So you should have picked F for that because the munching on the seagrass and the water plants is not proving that they are in danger. All three of these ones talk more about it, okay? So that's where that does not kind of flips our brain and gets us a little bit confused. All right, moving on. Read the sentence from the article. It may look hairless, but like all mammals, it does have hair. What does hairless mean? What did you pick? Full of hair? Without hair? Made of hair? Or one who makes hair? Hairless means without hair. Okay? All right. The ideas in the fifth and sixth paragraph are connected by, let's go back and look at the fifth and the sixth. All right, this one talked about boats being harmful. Paragraph six talked about humans being harmful. Mm. So let's see what we have here. Are they explaining why manatees are endangered? I would say maybe. Describing how manatees get caught in fishing nets? Uh, probably not in both that didn't talk about that. Explain why manatees need to come up for air to breathe? Mm -hmm. Describe how manatees are being protected by the government? Well, on my notes, I have harmful, harmful. I don't have anything about them being protected. So you should have picked F. It explains why they are endangered. The humans, mainly just the humans, right? Their boats and their carelessness that they're um, not aware of those poor manatees. All right, we're almost done. If something is motionless, it is very fast, very slow, not moving, or speeding up. Motionless means without motion. So you should have picked not moving. And then the last one, based on evidence from the text, the author would most likely agree with the idea that fishermen are very mindful of manatee's safety. Absolutely not. We made our notes. Humans are harmful, they're hurting the manatees. 
if the manatees were more like dolphins, it would not be endangered. He didn't say that. People should learn more about manatees so they can protect them. Or now that manatees are safe, people should put more effort into saving the whales. What? They even talked about whales? No way, Jose. You should have picked H. Okay? All right. So hopefully you feel very confident and awesome about going back in a text and finding the answers, taking notes and most importantly, taking your time and trying your best, all right? You are done for today. You have off tomorrow, so relax. Enjoy your time off, and then remember, on Thursday and Friday, you will either come into school or log on for the benchmarks. Um, and I want you to really take your time like we've been working on together, all right? Have an amazing day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.